Hello guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be talking about navigating the RDF graphs, including how to iterate, how to retrieve the triples, such as the subject or uh, the specific labels of the entities. Now, if you haven't seen the uh, previous video, in those I talked about creating your own RDF graphs and how you can load the graphs to the memory from a file or a website. So let's start on. So first thing first, I want to make sure that the library is installed. And now we can start by loading the uh, graph into the memory. So I will be using the uh, DBpedia graph about Berlin. So this is how the graph look like. So let's run this. And we should see a message that the graph has been successfully loaded in a minute. Yes, we can see. This is it. So let's start by over iterating over the triples. So uh, it's very simple, similarly as iterating over any iterable object like a list or a set, dictionary, or tuple. We can simply um, iterate the same weight over the triples. Now I am or iterate, I, I am breaking after this first triple because I don't want to print all of them out. But this is the first how the first triple looks like. Now we can um, check out how many triples are there in the graph. We can see that the graph has uh, almost uh, 10,000 triples inside. So let's check out if uh, some of the triples, if the triple exists in the graph. So what I'm doing here is very simple, just checking if the if the triple that we just printed out exists in the in the graph and I mean this should return true which it did now let's check out if the triple about Berlin exists in the graph so what we can do is specify the URI reference of the Berlin entity and for the predicate and object um, we don't want to specify anything because uh, we just want to know if any um, triple exists. And uh, indeed, it actually exists. But if I would change this to some other city, like uh, Paris, for example, we can see that this triple does not exist. Okay, so let's move on. Um, in this example, let's imagine that we want to get a list of all the properties that the graph has. So what we can do is simply iterate over all the triples and then append or add all the uh, properties into a list or set in this example. The reason why I'm using sets instead of list is because I want to remove all the duplicates. So we can do it like so. And yeah, we can see that uh, it has printed out the list of all the properties that are inside the graph. Let's uh, quickly check how many properties there are. Mm, so there are uh, 313 unique properties inside this graph, but we can achieve the same thing by simply Instead of iterating over the graph, over the whole graph, we can iterate over the predicates only by specifying the uh, g.predicates, uh, creating the g.predicates iterator, and then simply again adding them into a set like, set like before. So let's run this and uh, let's just double check that the properties. Uh, uh, one is the same length as the or size as the properties too and yes it is since it has 313 properties as well okay moving on uh, in this example let's say that we want to print out we want to get all the uh, labels of the Berlin entity so what we can do is simply iterate over all the subjects and objects in the graph and specifying the filter that we want the prep the property or the predicate to be the RDFS label. So we can do it by simply um, importing the RDFS namespace and specifying the um, type of property. 
And if we run this, uh, we can see that we have printed out all the labels for that the entity Berlin has. Now, just to show you, this is a, a literal object. And uh, so what we can do is we can print out its value, we can print out its language, and we can also print out, print out its data type. And uh, so this is the entity's uh, label or value, this is its language, and this is its data type. Now let's change this back to just object. And uh, let's check out some other, other properties, like for example, same as. And this should print out um, some different entities, uh, basically URLs to other um, databases that um, have information about the Berlin entity. For example, Wikidata. Mm, if I'm able to, okay. Yeah, so for example, Wikidata or Freebase and et cetera, et cetera. Okay, moving on. Um, now, similarly as before, instead of specifying the subject's object, we can just specify the object since we know that the subject, basically the whole graph is about the Berlin entity. Um, so we are assuming that all the subjects will be about Berlin. And so in this case, we don't have to specify any filter for subject and we specify the filter only for the predicate. And we are, we are interested in the object. So um, normally, if we would just print out the uh, this, we would achieve basically the same thing as before. We would print out all the object. But let's say that we want to filter out those. Uh, what's going on? Okay. Okay, I see. Um, so in this case, we are just uh, we are filtering all the labels, and we want to print out only those in English or only those in German, for example. So we can do it as simple like this. Now, um, instead of, I don't know, printing its labels, so we can print out its population instead. So we would have to define the URI reference to the whole property. And this, this is the whole URI reference to the population. Uh, relation and then pass it in as a filter and this will print out the population size of Berlin which is around 3.6 million. Now if you don't want to print out the whole URI references we can define a dbpedia namespace. So in this case I'm defining a dbpedia ontology namespace and dbpedia resource and instead of its rating over the list uh, we can simply use the g.value function, which is going to return the uh, like once this is going to return just a single value for a specific triple that we set. And since we are looking for an object, um, we specify object as none. And for a subject and predicate, we specify the subject is Berlin and the predicate or the property is a population total. And if you run this, this should print out the population size. Now, uh, this, this, since we specify the uh, DBpedia, DBpedia ontology, we can simply change the uh, property um, inside the triple that we are looking for. So, for example, this will print out the metropolitan population of Berlin. And, um, um, yeah, if we would change this to, for example, RDFS label, which has multiple labels in, it's going to print out the first um, label. So, if we look at the language of this triple, 
uh, sorry, of this object, we can see that it's, it's in Polish. So this is the Polish label that we are printing. And when we did it over here, RDFS label, and the value of the language. Yeah, Polish one was the first one. All right, so this is the um, RDF lib on how to navigate the the RDF graphs and how to retrieve the individual triples. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching.